problem on this uh, 2.4 liter Pontiac Grand Am is a crank but no start. So what I'm going to do um, to troubleshoot this, I've checked fuses, take this cover off, got 13, 4, 13 millimeters to take off, so we can have a look at the, and determine if it's spark or gas. I pull out one of the plugs, and I'm really seeing no evidence that there's gas on here at all. I would think when I cranked it four times, you might, and I pulled it out right away, there might be some evidence, a little dampness, even odor, fresh odor, odor of fresh gas, but I'm getting none of that here. Go ahead. Wait a minute, Joe, you got the Okay, that's good. After changing out the starter, this Grand Am would uh, crank but not start. And uh, what I discovered when I retraced my steps is that I had uh, pulled the wiring out of the uh, crankshaft position sensor, which is right behind the starter. So be aware of that if you ever change out the starter. Um, it's a good idea to take the oil filter out and give yourself more room and be aware of this sensor and its position. The crankshaft position sensor is located just above the oil filter. You can't make it out yet but the uh, filter has to come out to get at it. Okay, so it's out with the filter. I have a catch pan here to catch this. If you don't plan to change out the filter, just set it aside. Okay, so here's the crankshaft position sensor. Trying not to get in the way and show this. See my finger here? You have to lift this up. There's a lock tab on there. Lift that up and pull it in that direction in order to get it out. Now to actually remove the switch, the mounting bolt is up in here, practically behind the starter. So you may as well just pull the starter out and get it out of the way. So you've got the starter unbolted and what you want to do now is just be aware position of that switch. As you pull it back, because otherwise you're going to hit it, potentially damage it. What I'm going to do now is unplug it, lift up on it, push it out. Now we're holding at the bottom. I rotated the solenoid a little bit toward me. And that seems to be the secret here. It's jamming. So now we've got it out. So with the starter down here and out of the way, it's still wired up, hanging from the uh, another big B plus wire. It's not going anywhere. So there's the crank sensor. Light on it. You see that it's held by a, just a really small bolt or screw. So here's the view of the switch from the top, and it is uh, eight millimeter. We attached our switch to the wiring ahead of putting it in to make the installation a little bit simpler. Okay, so we're putting our 
pre-wired switch back in the slot and it's in place now we'll just and this is really a hard area to record I apologize for the poor color well so I'm going to get in here with my 8 millimeter ratchet and tighten that down All right, we're in. Okay, I'm going I'm to hoist the starter up from underneath with an eye toward being careful with the wiring. Okay, we were careful to avoid damaging any wiring. So now we've got it pretty much in place. finger tight. Okay, starter's back in, our switch is back in. Screw the oil filter back on. Always just hand tight. Let's see if we've got it right. Let's go test this. Okay, it looks like we're back in business. Thanks for watching this video.